Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. I know we've been talking about our tropical depression out here, but I want to make a, a closer update on the monsoon here for my friends in the Philippines, even extending towards Taiwan and J uh, Japan, southwestern Japan, the rainy season front still dominating there as well. But I, I, I know there's a tropical depression. I have a whole new other video update on that. But the thing is, the monsoon still is dominating here across the western portions of the Philippines. Afternoon showers, local heavy rainfall, about 20 to 30 millimeters in these short time downpours. So, you know, isolated local flooding is possible in the forecast. But overall, that southwesterly wind is continuing to dominate. And I found this pretty interesting. I was looking at visible satellite imagery over this area and some pretty significant wind shears taking place. So as far as named or organized tropical systems, as really low on the uh, uh, forecast here. And this is one reason why. Look at these open cell cumulus kind of cruising on by from the southwest uh, towards the northeast. And that's in the lower levels of the atmosphere. But then look right here. Look at these wispy clouds moving in from the northeast to the southwest. That's in the upper levels of the atmosphere. There is an interaction, a crossing of the winds here from the lower levels into the upper levels. And you can see it here on our skew T chart right there. Take a look at this. So there's our southeasterly winds. And then as you notice, you get into the upper atmosphere, it shifts and it comes in from the east up near the, uh, you know, about 20,000 feet up, four, 500 hectopascals. That's actually 300 right in there. So that's closer to where the jet stream would be. And that indicates to me, there is a pretty decent amount of wind shear over top of our area. And thus any organized systems are, are pretty uh, uh, low and not going to be expected, but there still is that moisture flow in the lower levels. And that means afternoon showers likely along the Western seaboards still in the forecast. Few could scatter further East, even down towards Manila. Yeah. Scattered showers as well. And this is all influenced by our rainy season front pulling off towards East, by the way, by Wednesday, we have our system moving here and that's going to kick off and help influence and pull more moisture as we end the Friday and Saturday for the southern Japanese islands all the way through Luzon as well. So southwestern relief will be enhanced by the week. And so the monsoon is there, guys. And I know we're uh, always, you know, if I put tropical system on top of these videos, that's big clickbait. But here's the deal. And this is one of those situations where I, you know, we have that tropical depression six could be called chompy northwest of Guam. And look at the rain totals from that right there. Look at the rain totals from the rainy season front. Look at the rain totals from the monsoon. This from an impact standpoint and from a, a, a an actual forecast, this is a bigger impact in my opinion, which is why I made a whole different video on it separate from our tropical system. So I hope you like that. Let me know if you found it useful. By the way, there is tropical depression six. Like I said, I made a different video. Moving towards the north will not enter the Philippine area for responsibility. Could skirt the coastline of Japan, bring some breezy conditions, but it's just gonna be by this point wrapped up with the rainy season front. So as far as rainfall, if you're in Tokyo, it's not gonna be a noticeable difference. Uh, it really just overall background flow will continue to follow that from the uh, south and eventually turning north to north east. All right, by the way, if you like this update and want more of it, hit me up on Patreon. I mean, that's this is the one reason why I do this. <laughs> and uh, I notice a lot of you guys are from the Philippines that are helping me out on Patreon here. I want to send you some love and uh, I want to give you updates that you want. That's the big thing for me. Hopefully, once I get my new graphics, I can make local forecasts and that'd be nice. Be a lot quicker and a lot easier to do too. All right, hit the subscribe button though if you want. Check me out on that Patreon. I'll put a link down below. It's Twitter, Facebook. You know what's funny? Twitter just denied my blue check mark today. And I used to have it. I lost it. Um, and then they uh, they don't want to give it to me again. I'm pretty sad about that. And anyways, if you want to share some photos of your local weather, you can hit me up on Robert's Better Weather as well. Stay safe out there.